All right, everybody, I am standing here in the spin room at the Democratic debate. You know her. She's Nina Turner. She is a vice chair of the Bernie Sanders campaign. Am I right about that? National co-chair. National co-chair. All right, we want to make sure we get that right. Um, I want to ask her about what is going on today. It's debate day here in Houston. We are yeah. at Texas PSU. Southern University at yes. HBCU, which is a yeah. beautiful thing. It is. What's happening Home with your candidate? Home of uh, Congresswoman Barbara Jordan, baby. We can't say that enough. <laughs> yes, you know, ma'am. I call her all the time, Jay, when I'm out in the sun for the Senator, and one of my favorite quotes by her, she said, what the people want is very simple. They want an America as good as it's promised. And that really is the premise of Senator Bernie Sanders' campaign. So that's it. Is that what we're going to hear tonight? A little bit more about America's promise? Yes, as he always talks about. I mean, he has really challenged this country and challenged us as citizens of this country to, de to demand more, to expect better. And that's what you're going to hear tonight, that vision, that consistency, that commitment, and, Jay, that courage. Because that's what it's going to take to take on these big money interests in this country is Who, courage. So who's he gunning for tonight? No, nah, see, he not, no, nah, see, I reject that premise. Can I do that? <laughs> he not, he not, you know, he ain't going after nobody. Listen, he has a solid record okay. that he can stand on. So he ain't got to go after nobody. Just let the facts speak for themselves. Hashtag receipts. We want to see all of the receipts. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, we did see today that Elizabeth Warren put out a plan on Social Security, expanding Social Security benefits for people. You guys going to talk at all about that plan? You got anything to say about it? I mean, the senator is certainly very much supportive of expanding Social Security. He's been talking about I, Jamal, You know what? I'm very happy. I'm happy that most of these Democratic candidates are, are preaching from the gospel according to Bernard Sanders. That's what I'm happy about. But, no, it's a very important issue that we do expand Social Security, that we, we protect Medicaid, Medicare. And those are things that are very important to the senator. I mean, it's clear that he led the way on policy in this party for the last few very years. Clear. I mean, all the Democrats now seem to be, most of the Democrats, seem to be either on board with the Bernie Sanders plan or they are reacting to something that That's Bernie right. Sanders uh, has proposed. Um, do you think he's going to be the one that benefits from, being, from forging this path into this new terrain? Well, I, for him, you know, the reason why I'm kind of, it's not about him benefiting. Like, he would frame that differently. Okay. He wants the American people to benefit. But I know where you're coming from. The senator is... But he's got to win, out. right? No, he does have yeah. to win. So in that way, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. In other words, he started this. Will he be the one to be able to take it all the way through? Or will other people who are kind of looking at his, at his notes on his desk, mm -hmm. you know, reap the benefit? You know, senator is quite confident in the vision that he has for this country and that, you know, but for his courage to bring this to the nation's attention in 2016, no one would really be talking about these issues. Let's face it, Medicare for all, you know, uh, saving Mother Earth, which if we don't save Mother Earth, we can't talk about any of these other issues, canceling student debt that is suffocating so many people in this country, whether they're young or youngish, there are a lot of youngish folks that still are, are carrying, you know, yeah. student debt. That well, we, I just paid mine off last ooh, week. I literally got the receipt yeah. in the mail That's last week. Feeling, that zero balance. Damn good feeling. Yes, we want to make that, you know, the feeling for everybody in this country it shouldn't be, you know, something that you have to pay off for the rest of your life. Sure. But. You know, the senator is really speaking to the consciousness of this country, and we need that kind of leader, somebody who not just has the, the right ideas, but has the courage to carry it through. And senator certainly over the years has proven himself as somebody who will stand up, who will not capitulate, and who will be right there for the working people of this country. I don't know if you got a chance to see it, but Essence Magazine put out a poll this I week did. and a survey around black women, right? And one of the numbers in that survey that was really interesting to me, it jumped out, was around, there was a dichotomy between 49% of African American women who were looking for a tax cut for middle class, middle income, and working class mm -hmm. families, and only 24% who were looking for $15 minimum wage for uh, workers. Now, that's not something that you usually hear when you're thinking about African American voters. You think that more people would be in favor of a $15 minimum wage. I know, and, and you know, that snapshot, I mean, we got to really listen to what the women who were in that survey had to say. But on a broader issue, when we look at increasing the minimum wage overall, African American women, to the point that you're making, are the ones who are underpaid most often across all sectors. So that is very telling. But another telling point in that survey was the 18 to 34 year olds. That's right. They named Senator Bernie Sanders as their, as their number one choice. But to me, it's the combination of increasing the minimum wage and those tax cuts. Maybe I would love to know the economic status 
of some of the women surveyed too, because that might have a lot to do with whether you say you the fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage is more important to you or the tax cut is more important to you. But the combination of those things really show that the economy is on the minds of a lot of African American women. And there are two other polls. One was a Latino poll from Univision, which, mm -hmm. Latino poll from Univision, yeah. which had. Uh, former Vice President Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders in the top two mm -hmm. candidates. The other one was the CBS Battleground Tracker, which looked at states. And they had Bernie Sanders leading in Nevada, mm -hmm. as well as contesting in Iowa, only about three points mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. from Vice President Biden. Um, do you think you guys are going to be able to take Iowa away from uh, any other candidate out there? Well, we're going to earn it. You know, the senator fully believes, yes, he ran in 2016, but he's not taking anything for granted. We're going to earn the votes of Iowans. We're going to earn the votes of people in New Hampshire. We're going to all earn the votes of folks in South Carolina. We're going to earn the vote all over this country. We know that Iowa gave the senator strong positioning. New Hampshire gave him strong positioning. And we want to keep that strong positioning. And the way that we're going to do it is to earn it. we got to compete. Nothing is given, baby. It's all earned. It's Senator Bernard Sanders, ready to earn it. All right, Nina Turner, thanks for joining us on Hill TV. We'll be right back. We've got a lot more today.